you don't need me to tell you how powerful electricity is. But the thing that you do need to know is that electricity, it comes with this invisible field. Known as an electric field, it's a space where electricity can flow even without wires. It's really hard to show you. Unless you've got an industrial-sized electric field generator, also known as a Tesla coil. This one is housed in a special high-voltage lab in Germany. It can produce a powerful electric field that can cross the room. It's enough to light up fluorescent light bulbs that aren't even plugged in. Faraday wanted to understand how this powerful new force behaved. He had a theory that might help contain it. You'd have seen this in school. You rub a balloon, you create static electricity. This gives the balloon a charge which produces an electric field around it. And you can't see it until it interacts with something. Like that. Faraday charged different materials and noticed some conductors of electricity behaved in a surprising way. This charge sits all on the outside and none of it is on the inside. Now, that seems like quite a simple thought, but actually, this is quite a revolutionary idea. If the charge stays on the outside, then things inside would be protected from the effects of potentially dangerous electricity. And not just in a balloon, but even inside a well-known conductor like metal. If Faraday was right, well, then surely he should be able to stand inside something while it was being electrocuted from the outside. And so he set about building himself a tinfoil room. He electrified the cage until it generated huge sparks. An experiment I'm already regretting agreeing to attempt. I'm going to use a slightly more modern version here of a, of a cage. And now all I need is um, some lightning. That's delivered from the high voltage Tesla coil above me. And uh, should be fine in here. Now I know how those frozen hamsters felt. <coughs> Being electrocuted, in theory. How many volts are you actually gonna do? Um, around 1.2 million volts. <laughs> How do I get myself in these situations? What would happen if I poke my finger through? Not advisable. As in I'll die? Might happen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me, what have I done? <sighs> oh. Okay, Afton. Charging. Five. And five. I mean, that's genuinely like being shot. <laughs> <laughs> the conductive metal redirects the electric charge of the lightning across the outside surface, meaning there's no electric field on the inside of the cage. So me and the fluorescent light tube that I'm holding remained completely protected from the 1.2 million volts. You have to imagine, in the 19th century, Faraday emerges completely unharmed. But what he'd done, he'd proven that the inside of the cage is completely safe from the outside. And what works for electric charge also works for microwaves. 